Tails and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. Um, this is Rocket Raccoon from the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy series. Uh, my daughter wants to make uh, a snow globe. Um, so uh, she wants to make a snow globe with Rocket Raccoon in it. She's quite into Rocket Raccoon at the moment. Um, so I've 3D printed this on my resin printer. Uh, it's not the greatest print in the world. Um, I don't know if that's the model or the printer or what, but it, you know, it's a, it'll do for what we want to do. And uh, so today I'm going to paint this uh, to look vaguely like Rocket Raccoon. And I thought you might like to come along for the journey. So just a quickie today, stop laughing at the back. Uh, let's get on with it. Right, so I've just stuck this onto a, a little stand just to give me something to hold. Um, the problem is going to be with this is the fact that it's going to be permanently immersed in water. So I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to last, but you know, we'll give it a go. So the first thing we're going to do is put a primer coat on it. So for primer, I'm going to use this uh, Vallejo black primer. Uh, it's easy to use and it works very well. I find black is a, a good base coat for figures because it's quite forgiving. If you um, if you miss any little bits, then the black will hide it for you. <laughs> so yeah, nice even coat all over and then let it dry. Uh, I'm gonna try something else a little bit different now that I've not done before using this Light Ghost Gray Primer. Uh, basically, I've seen people do this, you, you spray from the top down of the model and it gives you a little bit of uh, a highlight before you start. Um, I've never done this before as I said, but I've seen other people use it to great effect, so I'll give it a go. And with that done, now we can move on to uh, his clothes. Uh, he wears this kind of orange jumpsuit, so I'm going to use this rush shade for this. Um, I must admit I'm not a massive fan of life color paints, so I tend to struggle with them a little bit. Um, you can probably see that in the video. Um, but the color is a, a pretty good match and it actually comes out looking all right, so it's, it's worth using. Now we need to paint his fur, so I'm gonna start with this uh, flat earth. Stop laughing at the back. Uh, I'm using a brush for this rather than airbrush. Um, I think it's a lot easier to control when you're doing fine detail like this. Uh, I'm just using uh, a cheap unbranded brush that uh, came from China, I think. Uh, but it works very well. It's a nice brush, actually. So basically, his arms, legs and head all get a, a coat of this brown. And uh, after that, we can start looking at some details. Oh, and his tail, of course. Mustn't forget that. Uh, now a few details using a bit of uh, Citadel Chaos Black. Um, this pot of paint is probably older than quite a few of the people watching this video. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically the gun, uh, some details on his uh, on his clothes and bits and pieces like that. Um, I'm not being massively careful with this, uh, but it's good practice. So these are the, the stripes on his uniform. Um, there's various details. I was working from a reference photo, uh, but the model didn't quite match the reference. So I've, there's, a, there's a little bit of artistic uh, interpretation in this. And finally painting the stripes on his tail. I wish I'd have done a better job of that actually. That didn't come out quite as nice as I would have liked. And now for some further details uh, on his face using a bit of this uh, deck tan. Basically doing his snout, his eyebrows and things like that. Um, I probably should have done this before I started the black because I had to swap back to the black after this to do the rest of his face. But it's no great hardship. 
I do apologize for some of the slightly dodgy camera work in this video, but I was wearing magnifiers and trying to work around <laughs> work around the camera at the same time. It's not uh, not easy. So, like I said, a bit more black on his face, uh, just basically his cheeks. Um, and then once that's done, we'll make a start on his eyes. Oh, not forget his nose, of course. Um, Citadel Chainmail. This is basically for some dry brushing on the gun. Uh, apparently, Citadel Chainmail is now known as Iron Breaker, so I'm told. So uh, if you're looking for this, it's actually a really good silver. Uh, it's one of the best brushable silvers I've ever found. And uh, yeah, like I said, now onto his eyes. Uh, this didn't come out too well in the recording, basically because it was very difficult to uh, record it and paint his eyes at the same time. So, but yeah, just a little dot of white on each eye. And my daughter decided that she wanted him to have blue eyes. So, yeah, Citadel Enchanted Blue for his, uh, for his eyes. Uh, same again. Unfortunately, I couldn't really film it very well, but uh, that's what it came out looking like. And finally, uh, a coat of varnish to protect it. Normally, I'd use matte varnish for this, but because it's going to be in water basically forever... I decided to go with the gloss varnish instead. So uh, he had probably about half a dozen coats of varnish. I really wanted to make sure it was well protected and it came out well, I think. And here is the finished article. There he is, Rocket Raccoon in his new home of a snow globe that me and my daughter made. Um, it's come out really well actually, I'm quite pleased with it and she's very happy with it. Um, the only slight downside is the water's gone a funny colour but I think that's because of the glitter. But, um, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. You shake it up and uh, snow. Well, <laughs> cold snow, if there's such a thing. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's not the, not the best paint job in the world. I'm, I'm not that good at painting figures, but it's uh, more than sufficient for uh, our, our purposes here. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.